rated TVP2 for people power. Hey there, everybody, it's your Scully friend here, back with another video. And I'm gonna reach out to some more unfamous artists right now. You ready for it? Because I sure as hell am. I've got some very good artists for you today, and you're gonna love their artwork. Let's check their art out, shall we? Time to reach out. Let us now enter the artwork of Constellation Dragojo, also known by her first name, Constella. She has been a deviant for a year and has over 350 deviations. Oddly enough, she doesn't think her art is talented, per se, but I say otherwise. Got a special wit about her art that says that she is unique in her own way, and she's got a special style about her that makes her stand out from quite a few artists that I've seen, in my own honest opinion. Her photography is actually really good too, if that tells you anything. And her literature is actually really decent as well. Her screenshots are phenomenal. Her digital paintings and drawings are phenomenal. I mean, you just can't go wrong with stuff like this, you know? There's no way you can go wrong with stuff like this. Seriously. And now let's check out her gallery, shall we? Let's go ahead and do that, shall we? Seriously, though. All right. Now this is some pretty good artwork, I'm telling you. Her early stuff is actually really interesting to look at. Because if you'll notice, she actually has already developed a very distinct art style and a very unique wit about her art, as I've mentioned before. And like all great artists, she started out traditionally pen and paper and colored utensils, just like myself. I know this because I submitted my first official DeviantArt deviation in January of 2012, which was basically a very, very meticulously drawn traditional pen and paper artwork of my friend Zabaricon's character, Lizzie Zink, ironically from A Lunatic's Tale. I still consider that to be my best drawing, and I'll just be honest with you. Just being reasonable, you know? And I have no reason to lie about it. But going back to her art now, she has a distinct style about her art that makes her very, very, very gifted, very original, very genuine. And her art is very intense as well, as far as how it's drawn. And I like that very much. As we further go through her evolution, we see that she, like all great artists, improved quite a bit, in her own way no less. And, and look up further, mind you. Her art is very, it's just, this is just, this is high caliber art that we're talking about here, folks. You're not going to get this from, from many people outside the DeviantArt community, unless you're on Fur Affinity, or, or Tumblr, or Facebook, or Twitter per se, but this art is totally top notch, and I'll be the first to admit that to you. This is really impressive, very good. Further going up her art gallery, we see that her art is of course becoming more and more digital, albeit very slowly, and yet at the same time, we also see that her art is very captivating. Her fan art of the Sonic the Hedgehog franchise is very apparent. It's extremely imperative to note that her art becomes more detailed and more meticulous as we go on, and she tries new mediums as a result. Going further art, we know that she becomes a fan of Danny and the Ink Machine, which is actually really interesting as well. And for that, I can admire her art very much. And that says a lot. By the way, 
to all the people out there who think I'm being sarcastic, guess what? I'm not being sarcastic. I'm just being completely honest about what I'm seeing. And if you can't see it that way, at least try to take it with a pinch of salt. Okay? Look at that. Look at that. She's experimenting with screenshots. This is amazing. Oh, man. Look at this. And, and we look further up her gallery, and, and we notice that it's becoming a lot more refined, a lot more evolved. This is just truly amazing. Oh, man. Look at that. And she's experimenting with literature, no less. I love that. Look at that. And, and she even took a picture of the White House. This is brilliant. This is so brilliant. Stella, if you're watching this, understand that you shouldn't shortchange yourself. Because the shots that you're taking, the pictures that you're drawing, the screenshots that you're recording are truly remarkable. And Costella, you know I'm not lying when I say this, because I know a great artist when I see one. And you, Costella, are a fantastic artist. I mean, just, just look at this stuff. Look at this. Look at this. Guys, this is, this is absolute genius. This is genius. Oh, man. And, and look at that. Look at that. Oh, Lord. This is, this is brilliant, man. This is expertly captivating. Expertly captivating. This is, this is the kind of stuff you'd see in a museum, people. And as I've said before, I'm not being sarcastic when I say this. I'm being completely honest. This stuff is genuinely original. I love it. This is great. Look at this. Look at all this. Look at all this. This is just wonderful. So delightful to see a very talented artist like her come up with ingenious artworks like this. And she even experiments with comic art, too. This is... This is even better. This is brilliant. Wow. I mean, you, you can't get any better than that, folks. Nothing is quite as impressive and very amazing as originality in artwork. And Costella here is a definitive example of that. Good job, Costella. Keep making brilliant artwork that you're absolutely amazing at. Great work. And now for something I've never really done before. Something completely different, mind you. I'm going to feature one of my favorite artists on Fur Affinity. Enter the art of Fur Affinity user, Lulu. His art is actually pretty interesting. I, I really I really think you guys will like his stuff. Just, just check it out. You're never going to believe it when you see it. Seriously. So, seeing as though this guy, who just recently turned 29, by the way, I won't tell you when he was born, you can figure that out on your own, but basically, this guy has hundreds and hundreds of deviations on his fur video count that are really expertly drawn, and very phenomenally at that. I mean, just check out all this stuff. This is just fantastic. This is fantastic, what he does. He's so involved into the furry fandom, as I have been just recently, hence my decision to start a fur affinity page of my own back in mid-March, that this guy literally has all the fixings of a certifiable museum quality artist. This guy's legit. He's absolutely legit. I love every one of his artworks because he has them all drawn to a T. I mean, this guy, how good can a person be at what he does? I mean, this guy is phenomenal. It's astounding to me how good this guy's art really is. I mean, this is, this is just great. Look at all this stuff. Look at this guy's art. I mean, this, this is beautiful. This artwork is just, it's so... I can't even begin, legitimately, to describe how 
thrilling his art looks. I mean, this looks like something out of a CGI-based Disney movie. Except the movie isn't as CGI as it is traditionally drawn, meaning in Walt Disney style. But, but this, this is just perfect. I, mean, I cannot even begin to describe how amazing, how, how spectacular this, this is. I mean, seriously. And I know you guys think that I'm just ass-kissing, but I'm really not. I'm just being completely honest about it. You know that I can't lie about something when I see it. When I see something, I point it out as it is, and I tell you straight up what I think of it. And Lulu's artwork is absolutely a godsend. It's a godsend, guys. This is... Wow. I mean, even his earliest artworks are genial. Look at this. It's all genius. I mean, look at this, though. This is a remarkably drawn, expertly executed Robotnik tribute. I mean, this Long John Baldwin would be proud of this. Snooping is usual, I see. But anyway, let's just, let's point out the facts. Even his oldest artwork is genial and pretty much, dare I say this, ahead of his time, even in 2018 standards. I mean, look at this thing. And, and this screenshot that he took of one of his characters on Second Life, that, that is just phenomenal. I bet the guy who made Second Life had a very unique vision of this. And I and I know this because one of the friends that I used to know who was a um, was a babysitter in, in the group home setting, he was part of the staff in what I used to live in in this group home setting before I moved in with my friends back when I did what I did. You know, he was an avid user of Second Life. And this picture in of itself is a very clear depiction that Second Life is very much one of the most cinematic environments one can ever immerse oneself in. Now let me just say that now. And all these fan arts of Sonic the Hedgehog and his characters and even some original characters at that. I mean, this guy, this guy, Lulu is an absolute genius. And keep in mind, he just turned 29 as of this recording, as of this airing, and this saving of this episode. So just please, if you would, keep that in mind. His first drawings were, of course, tradition. And let me, let me remind you, this is how I started out as an artist. I drew traditionally to start out. And this guy's original traditional drawings from way back in his early years, in his early months of his Fur Affinity account, his first submissions, even by today's standards, are truly remarkable just based on how meticulously they were drawn in general. Clearly this guy has spent a lifetime doing what he does because it shows in his art. And he does it absolutely amazingly well. I mean, you can't you can't ask for much more than that. You know what I'm saying? Just 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 look. Just look. Just look at this. Look at this. This is where the geniusness all began with his first deviations. And that, of course, as crazy as this sounds, led to his most recent works some 10 years later. Look at all that. Look at all that. This is, I'm telling you, this is remarkable. This is so, so Back while he was submitting his first deviations, we knew, we all knew how far he would go. And this, ten years later, 
is clear proof of that. Very evident proof of that. So Lulu, if you're watching this, buddy, you're a great artist, man. You're great at what you do, and don't ever stop what you're doing, because you absolutely rock. You definitely rock the look when it comes to drawing stuff. Never stop drawing, buddy. Quick reminder. This episode of Reaching Out to the Unfamous has been brought to you by Dollar General, where for the right price, you can get exactly what you need and get the biggest bang out of your buck in the process. And by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, which is funded by people like you. Thank you, Jesus. Good night. It's time to stop! Touch a mouse baguette! 21st century son of a bitch! Ah, shit.